Hey guys, what's good? This is your girl from So Real Media. Okay, today I just got on here because about this white bands. Now, it's just been a lot of rumors circulating about this white bands that it belongs to a uh, black youngster or uh, black youngster has a white bands like this and all this and all that. I can tell you guys right now that is cap, okay? That white bands belong to a lady, okay? She was carjacked at the gas station for that vehicle at gunpoint, okay? And it's factual, and it came straight from the news media outsource, okay? The lady did not want to be shown on camera, so the news lady was sitting on one side of her um, couch, and the lady that was carjacked, she was sitting on the other side without her face. But she clearly said what happened. She was carjacked for that vehicle, the same white bands. So all that news y'all hearing is cap, is garbage. It does not belong to young, uh, to black youngster, okay, at all, okay? They stole that vehicle a week prior to that uh, murder, to a uh, young Dolph murder. So all this was already planned and plotted, okay? That car... The lady was carjacked for that vehicle, okay? That's why I say I don't want to just be on here jumping, jumping at everything somebody say or jumping at the first thing because uh, sometimes you just have to just wait it out and see what's happening before you just jump on the blogs and just be saying stuff like that. So, no, Black youngster did not, did not at all. I guarantee you, do your research, look it up, okay? The lady was carjacked for that vehicle, okay? So... I'm just tired of hearing it. I'm tired of hearing it on the blog, in the blog. And I heard this from the news media outsource, okay? The lady was carjacked. So you guys just need to just stop uh, listening to everything these people say on uh, YouTube. Because YouTube is just uh, a media for a platform, actually, just for people to just get on here and make up lies, make up garbage, and just, you know what I'm saying? Just, just something to do for some people, you know, so that's the deal with on, I mean, that's the deal as far as that goes. Now, also, uh, we already know the feds is watching all these blogs, okay, even that post that, um, Straight Drop had put out about him, um, turning himself in, okay, they saw all that, they read everything, okay, M news media outsource, okay? News media outsource, okay? So this is where all this information is coming from, and that's why I am giving it to you guys. So, um, outside that, we know that car, so when y'all hear about that car, that's not the truth, okay? It's for um, some lady, okay? These guys is just a bunch of assholes, and it just clearly shows you how people would just crash out just for fame. But why would you want that type of clout, though? Why would you want that type of clout to throw your life away, okay? Now, some people, they just don't care because, as you can see, Straight Drop was real happy. He was real happy. How you happy and you know you finna go to prison? I mean, I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm finna go to prison. I can't believe I did this. It's like... No remorse for it. I mean, just straight, just snitching on yourself. If you snitch on yourself, I mean, you don't need nobody else to snitch on you. God damn. I know this is, this is uh, a society where self-snitching is just a thing that's going to be a normal thing now. You know, it's like, I'm going to tell on myself, y'all ain't got to say nothing. They just tell it all, you know, they tell it all. Just like that video, uh, that track hawk video, Straight Hawk, I mean, Straight uh, Drop put out. He freaking told everything, basically, you know? And it's like, he don't care, he's happy. He know uh, he wasn't supposed to have no gun anyway. So, you know, they're going to sock it to him. So, I know everybody's saying, yo, guy, he's going to get him out and as soon as he get a bomb. But uh, clearly, I don't think these people's going to let these people bond out because they're violent criminals. And now um, they are flight risk. So they're not going to do that. Why would they give someone a bond that ran damn near a whole week? You know, so 
we know that's not going to happen. And if it happens, then we need to look into it a little deeper. Because they're not going to do that if you're a flight risk. And um, it's clear to see that these guys are flight risks, okay? So, I don't know how someone can just be so happy about uh, going to prison. I don't know how someone can be so happy about taking someone's life. You know, I just don't understand it. But um, this is the time and era we're living in right now. So, we just have to expect stupidity you know humans are just stupid people sometimes you know and um they do stupid things but hopefully when he get behind them balls um <laughs> somebody getting in and whip his ass real good you know whip his ass real good and um let him know hey ain't no guns in here homeboy you know it's uh straight toe to toe or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, a lot of them ain't ready for that. They just out here with these guns and they think, uh, you know, nothing can happen to them and they just got their courage, you know? They got their courage. So, it's sad. It's awful. And um, I'm hoping everybody, you know, especially our black uh, men learn from this here that uh, the person in your circle you know, can be that very person that can take you out and you can't trust nobody, okay? And this is clear to see. This is clear to see. Now, I'm just waiting to see um, what Key Glock is going to do, you know? I'm trying to see what he's going to do. I know he's not um, Young Dolph's blood cousin, but the relation is just by marriage. So... You really can't see too much, you know. I mean, you really can't, you know. And maybe, I mean, I'm not saying he didn't have love for Dolph. He probably did, you know. He probably did, but I don't know, you know. It's just really hard to say, and you can't trust nobody. So we just have to see how this thing play out as far as he go. And um, is he going to do any stepping for Dolph, you know, or whatever, whatever, you know. He's kind of quiet, low-key kind of guy, so he's really not saying too much. So he might just pop out, you know. I don't know, when we least expect it. So we just have to expect anything right now. But um, I'm just waiting to see how this thing play out, waiting for more. I know a lot of people say it's going to be a Rico and all this here and all that. So I'm waiting to see, is it going to be a Rico? If it's going to be a Rico, you know, it's going to be deep. It's going to be real, real deep because it's a lot of players in the ball game. Like I said, it's a lot of players in the ball game. Now, I don't know. Now, I don't think uh, your guy is going to get go down for this here. I don't think he's going to go down for it. Black youngster probably would more than your guy because... I think it's more, I know, well, I'm not going to say I know. I think without a shadow of a doubt that black youngster probably put the head out. And uh, I don't know at what point he put the head out, but um, I think it's all connections. So I don't know if they're going to snitch him out which I highly doubt it because you never see like the uh, big giants in the game. Like, well, he's not really too big, but um, like Yo Gotti is bigger than black youngster. So Yo Gotti, I know, is not going down for it. Even if he had had a play in it, they're not going to snitch him out because uh, he might put a hit out on him while they locked up, you know. So you're not even safe in jail. You know, you're not even safe in jail. So, um, and then one guy said, yeah, he got hitters in jail too or whatever, prison or whatever. So, you know, it's crazy. You just can't escape the violence. So I don't know why they're rushing to go to prison because there's violence in there too. But like I was saying, so black youngster more than Yo Gotti, I believe probably would go down and they probably would snitch him out more. Um. He reminded me so much of Trap Boy Freddy and um, how he did Mo3 when Mo3 um, was killed, you know, just out there just doing the most, you know, who does that? But 
it just makes you wonder, do these uh, kids have any upbringing where the parents said, where's black youngsters mom? And I mean, because if I seen my child doing that, I was like, boy, what are you doing? Why are you on, you know? So, but everybody reap what they sow, you know? So, but um, like I say, more him than Yo Gotti, I believe, may go down for this year. And um, it has been some rumors circulating. I don't know. I'm going to have to do more digging on it about uh, black youngster being called in for questioning him. And also, um, what's the other lip? Um, Big Draco. Big Draco, uh, which is Soldier Boy. Um, I'm hearing they got called in for questioning so I don't know the validity of it right now. That's just what I heard. So I'm going to do further research on that. See what's good with that first. And then uh, I can give y'all more details on that, you know. But right now, I believe it's going to be more people come out, you know, being guilty and being key players in this uh, Dolph killing. Because it was well orchestrated. The killing was well orchestrated, but even though it was sloppy as fuck, you know, um, it was well thought out. Well thought out, you know. So, I don't know why they chose that cookie shot. I don't know why they chose that cookie shot, you know. What, to put them on the map? Why the cookie shot? Why not his house? Uh, well, I know he had bulletproof car, you know, bulletproof windows, but um, that's only going to do you good while you're inside the vehicle. When you step out, you know, it's another story. So um, I don't know why they chose that cookie shop, but like I said, it could have happened anywhere. You know, they was going to get him, you know, just like they got him in uh, L.A., when they hit him up 50 times. I know he said 100 shots, but um, the police, they say 50. It was actually 50 when they counted it, okay? So it was a little exaggerated there. It wasn't 100 shots. It was more like 50, okay? So um, do your research on that too, but that's what the police uh, media said, okay? So we just have to see how this thing play out. I'm not gonna tally on too long. I just got on here just because I just, I'm tired of hearing about this damn white beans. And I heard this with my own ears yesterday about the white beans being for a lady and she was carjacked, okay, at the gas station at gunpoint. Um, so don't hear that bull crap about that beans being black youngster and all that. No, that's not black youngsters beans, boo. It's not black youngsters beans. And if I find that video again, that news clip about that white Benz with that lady on there that was talking who actually got carjacked for that Benz prior to, a week prior to Dolph getting killed, hey, I will put it up here, okay? So I'm going to let y'all go, but thank y'all for checking out So Real Media. What I need y'all to do is hit that like button, holler at your girl, check your girl out. I'm going to be trying to upload on a regular basis at least two to three times a week. Um, I'm not just going to base this on just black youngster and young Dolph and all that, you know, it's whatever, you know, it's just like a free flow type thing, you know, but right now this is what's hot and this is what's trending right now. So we're going to, um, we're going to stay on course with this here and follow this Dolph case. And, um, hopefully we don't have to report on any other, uh, rappers that get killed. Cause you know, this is a new year and, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of these young guys on Demon Time and, you know, just hate to put on the goddamn TV or the news. You don't know who might come across your screen. This rapper done got killed. This one done got murked. You know, it's just too much. I mean, I'm, I'm just really tired. And I was listening to rap music a lot, but um, I kind of laid off about, oh, I have not listened to music in a minute. I think it's probably been like about uh, a week now, probably two weeks now. Oh, my God. 
but I just really need to clear my head because it just been so much going on, so much going on. And then, um, I'm trying to start this YouTube channel thing and, you know, just a lot of things like that, but then working on other business endeavors too. So like I said, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of things and, uh, thank y'all for joining. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Also like comment, you know, throw me a comment or whatever in here. Also, I'm going to throw y'all my website up. It's a uh, hair weave web website. We sell hair bundles, all kind of uh, hair accessory items, hair bonnets, stuff like that. We're going to be throwing up a whole lot on there. I'm going to throw that website up there. Y'all support the website. And uh, like I said, we're going to be doing a whole lot of good things on this channel. Once I get to the 1,000 subscriber, I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways on hot items and stuff like that there. But we got to get the subscribers up, okay, guys? So share this live. Well, not live. Share this uh, video. Share the video with whoever. Put it on your post, your Facebook post, uh, social media outlet. Share the word, spread the word, and um, let's see where this thing go. Thank you guys so much. Peace out.